It's baseball time. The rainbow connection. friends I'm joining you from the top of Bear Butte <coughs> Bear Butte State Park in the Black Hills of South Dakota Bear Butte is the northern terminus of the Centennial Trail the little education center is about a mile down that way. Climbed up this uh, mountain, this butte. It's about a mile hike. Probably went up uh, about a thousand feet or so. Very rocky, very beautiful. So I am at the northern terminus. This is the finish line of what was my very first through hike. So I'm kind of reminiscing a little as I got up here. Last time I hiked here, when I finished, I was a little emotional because it was quite the uh, feat to uh, climb up this big area after hiking 124 miles. So this time, I'm going to do another through hike. This time I'm going southbound. Last time it took me six days. This time it's going to take me about 96 hours, which I'm saying is four days. It's actually uh, three full days, two half days. The reason why I'm doing it faster this time, not only to just challenge myself, but I'm here with friends. I'm not here with friends. My friend Rob Pelton and his friend Janelle, they are doing a section hike. Rob's finishing section hiking the trail. So he's doing 80 miles. I dropped them off down at Samilius Peak and they are walking 80 miles up here to uh, Bear Butte. And I am gonna walk past them so starting here at Bear Butte and I'm going to do the entire 124 miles from the top there down to Wind Cave National Park and then they're going to shuttle down and pick me up and we're going to head home. So I need some big mile days. I don't have my backpack on yet because I just left it down at the car once I get down to the trail again here off to put it back on and I've got 123 more miles to go. Let's go. On day one, I walked 23 miles from Bear Butte through Fort Meade and Alkali Creek to just north of Elk Creek. After you leave Bear Butte, you go into Fort Meade Recreational Area, and it's just this wide open prairie. I see some dark clouds over there. It was raining a little earlier, but it's just beautiful out here. You know, it's a little bit different. And uh, if you are going to through hike the Centennial Trail, which I highly recommend as your first through hike, because it's 125 miles and not a couple thousand. 
but I would definitely go northbound. You know, I'm going southbound here because you can look forward, trust me, you look forward for uh, like 14 miles, you can see that Bear Butte coming and it's uh, quite the climax at the end of your hike. But this is great too. I haven't seen any bison yet. Last time when I was on here, I saw some bison in here, but uh, I don't know, we got a few more hours of this. The sun's out, beautiful weather. Walking through Fort Meade, some cool old buildings here in the fort, some cool uh, rock masonry. It's kind of warm out. Haven't hiked in the sun like this in a while. Looking forward to uh, getting through all of this, getting into some trees. You can hear some thunder in the background. Not sure which way the dark clouds are going. I made it to the Fort Meade National Cemetery. Just gonna take a minute. If you're current military or past military, thank you for your service. That, my friends, is Bear Butte. That, my friends, is lightning and thunder. Let's go over there. So above me. Probably not in the best place for a thunderstorm. Time to put on the raincoat. There's some hail coming down. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Looks like I'm out of the storm, but over there, she's a little dark. So I've been battling a cold here for the last week. Having trouble sleeping at night coughing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tired today. You gotta push through it though. It's like the sun is shining on Sturgis down here. I made it to Alkali Creek. There's a campground here. When I hiked through here before, there's a pump with water. So I was relying on that because right after this campground, there's a potential 24 mile dry stretch. There's an Elk Creek halfway through, but it's uh, unreliable. So I got to that pump here at the campground and there's a sign on it that says uh, it hasn't been tested and the water wasn't on. Which made me really nervous because I was running out of water, 24 mile stretch. Then I realized there's a little creek over behind uh, some trees here. So uh, emergency uh, avoided. Gonna camel up with some water here. I'm, I'm guessing being that it's beginning of May, there's gonna be water in that creek, but you never know. I did bring uh, a little bit bigger water bottle on this trip uh, for occasions like this. Uh, I'm about 16 miles in. Gonna get at least another five. We'll see how it goes after that, but. Uh, there's about 50% chance of rain. Uh, the sun's on me now. Uh, there's some really dark clouds that looks like I just missed, so. We'll keep on hiking. We're 
really. Still. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I think I pushed a little too hard today. Setting up my hammock and I was getting super nauseous. Got the shivers. It cooled down a lot. It's cold now. Uh, my freaking Renaud syndrome is kicking in on my fingers, so my fingers are numb. Got my uh, down booty here on my hand. Trying to warm it up. I do have some possum down gloves, but I thought this would work good uh, just well. My water is boiling here. But yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's from that sun that was this, this afternoon or, you know, just being sick. But uh, definitely uh, overdid it a little bit. But I'll be all right. Uh, I'd skip dinner if I didn't need the calories because my stomach doesn't feel that great. But I'm going to choke down the last chili mac with beef that I have from Peak Refuel, they discontinued those, so. All right, so, hammock's all set up. Made a little bit farther than I planned today, but it is what it is. Whew. I hope I sleep better tonight, friends. On day two, I hiked 30 miles from Elk Creek through Dalton Lake, Nemo and South Box Elder Creek to Estes Creek. Feeling a little better today. The uh, weather's beautiful. Sun's out, slight breeze, probably in the 50s. And look at this. I'm gonna keep on hiking and enjoy the day. <laughs> Passed through Elk Creek, came back up the mountain here. This is one of my favorite vistas of the entire trail. You know, you, when you're coming from the opposite direction, you're going through mountains and this is like your first wide open view. Looks like I dropped my tripod. Oh, uh, it's gonna go back, but I don't feel like going back and looking for it. So, you're gonna come out here and get the first peek at this overlook. With All right, I'm gonna keep on pedaling along here, hoping to get to uh, Nemo here pretty pretty soon, probably in the next few hours. Whew. Made it down to Dalton Lake, little dam here. Beautiful little lake with some 
docks. See some Jeeps and some UTVs over there. The trail keeps on going this way. I'm gonna stop in the shade of this tree and have a proper lunch and just take a load off and rest a little bit. On my way to Nemo, feet are starting to really, really hurt. Just not feeling the juice this hike. I don't know what's going on, but uh, this is a nice lookout. I camped out here uh, a few years ago when I threw hiked it going the other way, and there's an epic uh, sunset right there. Little sprinkles, starting to cool down. Oh, feet hurt walking down this rocky trail. ATVs walking or driving by. I don't know, man. Just keep on walking. Made it to Nemo. Woo! Body's pretty wrecked. Definitely not gonna be able to finish my hike. Uh, Rob, should see them tomorrow. I don't know what their plan is. Worst case, I'll just camp out a few days. But, uh, you know, my body's wrecked. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do the 30 mile days that I needed to do to finish, so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go in the store here, grab a few things. There's a restaurant up the road, grab a burger. I don't think that's gonna do anything for my knees and my feet, but it'll make me feel better anyway. Had my burger, ordered some onion rings. They were pretty good. Tasted real good. Uh, I was just talking with Rob and Janelle, who were probably about four miles away from here, and they aren't able to make it here tonight uh, and I was asking around and everything in Nemo is closed tomorrow so they were uh, relying on getting some snacks here uh, grabbing a burger but that ain't gonna happen so I'm not sure exactly what their plan is but uh, I should see them early tomorrow morning uh, and uh, we can talk about it you looking for some entertainment? Walking towards the place I was gonna camp. Decided my legs don't feel so bad. Rob's five miles up the trail here. Six o'clock, going from legs that are toast, climbing up a hill. It's beast mode time. Hey, aren't you on YouTube? Sometimes. I've been stalking you. Yeah? What happened? Oh my god. How are you, man? Good to see you, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> man. Oh wow, camp crasher. We don't have any food. Food? Yeah. That's all right, I had a cheeseburger. Hey, How are you, dude? Oh. You, right? you beat the shit, huh? Just like us? Yeah, you ever want to say it? Oh, I don't care about this thing. Oh, that was interesting. Made it to camp here with Rob and Janelle. Got the hammock all set up. Not feeling too bad. That was a great idea to keep on hiking for like five miles for about the first half hour, then I got a little old. But I have a play mix on my phone called Beast Mode with lots of high energy songs that help me get here. Rob and Janelle are doing good. They're gonna keep on hiking tomorrow. Not sure what my plan is. You have to tune in and keep on watching and see what happens. See you tomorrow. Morning, <coughs> 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 friends. Uh, I didn't sleep real good last night. Legs and uh, feet were hurting a lot. And uh, as you can probably hear, my cold is back. So I decided I'm not going to try to keep on going. Problem is, is, I could keep on going and just go shorter distances, but I don't have enough food. I planned on resupplying at Legion Lake Lodge, which is 
uh, 50 miles up, I think. There's also Mount Rushmore that's 40 miles up, but I'd have to do 20 mile days over today and uh, tomorrow to get there to get enough food. And I just don't think that's a good idea. So, gonna relax a little here for the next couple of days until Rob and Janelle get done with their hike. <coughs> I walked into Nemo this morning, walked through Nemo, everything's closed, came out on the highway, came back up the Centennial Trail, which is right down over here, and walked up a hill, set up my hammock. So I am right outside of Nemo. Of course, everything is closed in Nemo. But somehow Rob Pelton figured out a way to get a burger this morning. I'm not sure how he did that. But uh, I took a nap today. I'm not wired to take naps. Naps, I, I love them. I just can't take them. Naps and spankings. Kids hate them. Adults love them. So I took a nap. I'm feeling a little bit better. But... Um, Definitely glad I didn't uh, try to keep on going. My knee's a little tender. And, uh, you know, these last two days, you know, I did pretty good miles. But it just felt like, ever drove with your car with your parking brake still on? Or if your car has uh, sport mode, standard mode, and eco mode? Well, I was on eco mode. And uh, it really, to get that type of mileage... Feeling that way, it really sucked a lot out of me. So we had a good decision. Going to hang out here all alone. Well, not all alone because there are deer droppings everywhere. And I saw a few over here a couple minutes ago. So I might have some friends tonight. Going to have some dinner here. Some uh, peakery fuel, biscuits and gravy. Hang my food bag. Settle into my hammock for the night. on the trail well just for some day hiking feeling pretty good today slept in sat around camp for a couple hours got bored decided i need to get out enjoy this big beautiful world and this nice weather i'm on trail see my hammock right up over there but just gonna go for some day hikes. I'm pretty much out of food. I'm gonna circle around, go through Nemo, uh, maybe find a light lunch, and then I'm gonna go back into Nemo tonight and get a good dinner at that bar restaurant. So uh, Rob and Janelle are doing really good. Said they're sore. Uh, they're gonna be to Alkali Creek uh, here for lunch. Uh, not going to be able to finish today, but they should be able to finish early, early tomorrow. call from Rob. Unfortunately they had to stop at the Alkali Trailhead. Just too beat up and can't go on for the last 15 miles of the trail. I packed up. I'm gonna walk my way down to uh, Nemo here. Really sad for Rob. Probably more sad that he couldn't complete his hike uh, than I am that I couldn't complete my hike because frankly this hike was a bigger deal for him than it was for me. But it happens so uh, I'm gonna go down there wait for them they're probably got about a half hour out uh, and then 
Uh, we're going to drive back. I'm not exactly sure what our plans are after that. Hello, Krusty. Hey, buddy. Welcome to Nemo. Ah, thank you again. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Good. A little Good. sore, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm beat up. We made it out to the Badlands to visit our friend Buckley. How we doing, friend? I am doing fantastic. What's that colory thing in the background behind you there, bud? That looks like a, uh, the Rainbow Connection, a.k.a. Kermit the Frog. One of my favorite songs of all time. Give us a little. Someday you'll find it, the Rainbow Connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and we... La, 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 hey, la, la. thanks for coming along on this trip. Yeah. If you like this video, what should I do? Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, keep that... Instagram, Facebook, check out Twitter, MySpace.